Good evening, and welcome to the 60th annual Art of Possibilities Art Show and Sale, proudly presented by Smead Manufacturing Company and RBC Wealth Management. The hybrid art show will be online at courageart.org and in person at the Courage Kenny Rehabilitation Institute in Golden Valley. There will be an opening reception on April 27th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. and the art will remain up until May 31st online and in person. All of us at Alina Health are thrilled to celebrate this milestone event, showcasing the exceptional abilities and talents of artists from diverse backgrounds. We invite you to experience the joy and beauty of these unique artworks and celebrate the incredible achievements of these talented artists by purchasing a masterpiece of your own. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Our legacy presenting sponsor, Smead Manufacturing. The Avent family's generous spirit continues the vision of matriarch Ebba Hoffman when 60 years ago she chose to recognize and share beautiful artwork while advocating for individuals of all abilities. Thank you Smead Manufacturing for your legacy of presenting the Art of Possibilities art show and sale. We'd like to thank our presenting sponsor, RBC Wealth Management. We are extremely grateful for the many ways RBC Wealth Management has generously supported Courage Kenny to provide life-changing programs and services that are making lives work. Your support for the Art of Possibilities demonstrates your continued commitment to helping people of all abilities to reach their full potential. We would also like to thank our silver sponsors, Art of the West and You Care. Paula, a returning artist says, Art of Possibilities has been an amazing opportunity to share my art with the community and connect with other artists living with disabilities. Teresa says, Art of Possibilities is an opportunity to show my work and demonstrate that disabilities do not have to stop anyone from accomplishing their life goals. Eric says, I am happy for people to see my art. I have a disability, but that is not who I am. I am an artist. I draw every day to try out different ideas and feelings. Making art is how I show my imagination to you. Art is my language. Making art and having people see it brings me joy. First place in the graphic category, Horse and Mint Julep by Patricia Doctor. This is such a striking figure. It demands my full attention and simultaneously the artist's use of shadows creates a mysterious aura to the piece. I admire not only the skill it took to draw with such detail, but also the out-of-box creativity used to create such a whimsical and distinctive portrait. Graphic second place, Cat's Cradle by David Spahn. This artist captured movement and emotion with just simple dots and line patterns. The playfulness of the cat made me smile, reminding me of the small joys in life. The artist's style is unique and I love seeing this new unique twist on their work. This piece is a true testament to their breadth of work. Graphic third place, The Cactus Garden by Eric Sherarts. The first thing to catch my eye were the bright colors and once it caught my attention, I couldn't look away. The imagination in this work is endless. Each plant has such intricate features, all individual in their own right, and yet the organization of the plants creates order and similarity. This piece is truly delightful. Graphic Honorable Mention, Bridge to a Found Paradise by Avery Hunter. The artist made great use of juxtaposition by creating organic shapes in the background interrupted by the geometric shapes of the city. The singular use of blue tones really let the texture play off each other and shows great control from the artist. Mixed Media First Place, Peak of Eden by Nancy Cook Smith. This work exemplifies how the layering of textures and colors can tell a beautiful story. The artist's choice to layer the gold over the color was a pivotal one and works really well due to the color palette. The gold complements the under layer of the color and actually makes the background pop. This work is hard to look away from. Mixed Media Second Place, I Am by Jayla Nick. This portrait tells such an intricate story. From the words in the background to the flowers and the use of pink, each small detail adds on to the story of the subject. This portrait goes deeper than to just show the face of the subject, but really explores who they are. This is an excellent use of craftsmanship and storytelling. Mixed Media Third Place, Dragonfly Spirit by Deborah Ronlin. 
Wow. The color is almost exploding off the canvas. The use of highlights and shadows creates so much depth in this work. The stillness of the dragonfly allows us to really soak in the beauty of it. By creating movement in the background, it feels like the dragonfly may fly away at any moment, but it is stopped for a brief second to let us admire the beauty. Mixed Media Honorable Mention Topography of One TBI by Kristen Kuhl The artist's manipulation of the media is really exciting. The intricacies of matching color and putting the wave together almost like a puzzle, making every part fit just right. I love the contrast of the color and form in this piece. Additionally, the inclusion of some words creates another level to the art. Oils and Acrylic, First Place, Dancing in the Dark by Judy Lewis. This piece has such a dichotomy between the romantic and the hopeless. While the subject is alone in the painting, her gracefulness and bright dress stands out as a beacon of hope in a dark and moody background. The figure is an enigma, but also one we know. The abstraction of the face allows for the viewer to fill in details about the figure, possibly relating to themselves or a friend. This work is all of us, finding a way to dance in the dark. Oils and Acrylic, second place, Marsh Magic by Donna Smith. The artist's technical use of the highlights and shadows is very well executed here, creating such a natural sunlight over the marsh. The composition of the work puts you right in the marsh, making it easy to imagine the sounds of the birds in the distance and the smells of the marsh as another day comes to an end. Oils and Acrylics, third place, Nature Kiss by Ragda Skeek. I was first caught by the texture of this painting. The artist shows such control over their paintbrush by changing the texture of the landscape as the visual field changes. Once I stepped away, I saw a different story. I was no longer in the grass, but now I saw the full landscape and felt like I was there in it. For me, the picture became a metaphor for life. As I take a step back and look at the bigger picture, everything becomes clear and I am able to enjoy the vast beauty of life. Oils and Acrylics Honorable Mention Mountain Escape by Myra Buffington. This painting makes me smile. The bright colors and unordinary shapes layered over the mountain transported me to a whimsical world. As the title describes, it becomes an escape to an alternate world with bright colors that intersect our dreary gray. This painting fuels my imagination and I could come up with a million stories about where this place is and who might live here. Photography, first place. Autumn Beauty by Richard Crum. The artist's use of color is so complex, I am amazed by this photo. He was able to isolate the colors and accentuate each layer of the composition. The red pops in the foreground, but once you look at the background, you realize how the clouds dance in the sky and reflect back the pinks and reds you see in the foreground. I am truly in awe. Photography Second Place Railroad to Nowhere by Glenn Wim Moore. The artist created such an interesting aspect and ratio. The organic shape of the clouds sits perfectly juxtaposed above the straight lines of the alley and buildings. The shadows on the left building contrast the beaming light on the right. This photo is a beautiful study in light, shadows, and position of the camera. Photography third place, Coneflower by Glenda Clausen. The artist was able to capture and draw our attention to the beauty of nature that can get lost in a field of flowers. Narrowing in on the subject allows for the artist to capture such micro details that we would never have noticed. I also love that the artist chose a flower that is not in full bloom. It tells a story of finding beauty at every stage of life. Photography Honorable Mention Wavy November Field by Kimberly Ladd The artist's manipulation of the photograph created so much movement in a still photo. The movement created reminds us that the photo is only a fleeting moment. The composition of the photo is very grounding and calm, which balances the movement. Sculpture First Place, Flora in Flight by Bill Le. The artist created such a beautiful form and then transformed the vase into an intricate canvas. The artist's addition of the carving takes the vase to the next level. The use of blue and white and the form of the vase is reminiscent to a traditional porcelain vase, but I love the way the artist created a new story with the bird. Overall, a very delightful work. Sculpture Second Place, Abstract Gold Pendant by Tina Vasquez. 
beautiful. I love the unique shape created in gold to complement the roundness of the jewels. The artist left no detail untouched. Even the hanging loop is built into the sculptural form. I love that the artist made a wearable piece of art. Sculpture third place, Floating Form Vase Series 1 by Dolores Fortuna. This work truly speaks to the artist's technical skill. I could not think of a better name for the work because it really does look like it is floating. The artist maneuvered the base of the vase to be undetectable, yet hold the weight of the piece. The introduction of the white glaze to contrast a dark base is really what sets this piece afloat. Sculpture Honorable Mention, Candy Keeper by Troy Dank. I really love the form the artist created. The art is beautiful and still a useful vessel. The glaze work is beautiful as well. I particularly enjoyed the rings made on top of the vase. They added character to the work. Watercolor First Place, Sea Meets Land, Akai by Christina Mekadecki. The vibrancy of this work is astounding. The addition of the black outlines intensified the color and added structure to the forms. The fluidity of the work would not be as successful without creating those boundaries. This work is a beautiful example of the way watercolor dances and moves. Watercolor Second Place, Cotton Train, 1800s, Texas by Elizabeth Sullivan. I think it is really fun to see the change in perspective and such a unique canvas shape. The artist's manipulation of the watercolor to create such distinct figures is amazing. Overall, a really fun piece. Watercolor Third Place, Urban Landscape, Hamtrek 2 by Ferdal Islam. This work has such a unique and beautiful composition, finding interest in the everyday. Each small detail shows the artist's brush control while still honoring the flow of the watercolor. Watercolor Honorable Mention, Overlooking the St. Croix River by Leanne Wilkins. The artist creates beautiful movement in this painting through a blurred foreground. This painting makes me feel like I just looked up in the middle of a long hike. The artist captures the essence of nature's unbeatable views. The Courage Kenny Encouragement Award. First Time Kayaking Lake Superior by Susan Fink. The artist showed such skill by painting the complexity of rocks. A generally flat object, the artist enhanced the beauty and created beautiful texture in the mountains through layers of color. This makes me want to grab my kayak and go to the lake. Our second encouragement award, Unexpected Serenity by Jeannie Bridgman. Such a beautiful use of color in the reflection pool. The gold and green were a delightful addition to the water. The artist did a great job of conveying movement in the water and in the swamps. Our jury award best in show goes to The Enchantment by Ian Scherer. Exciting and unexpected. Vivid colors and articulate brushstrokes combine to create an intriguing ethereal scene. The image is crisp and alive, yet reminiscent of the past. The drips are intentional and forces the viewer to stop, take in the work, and question the interruption. The greatest art starts a conversation. Congratulations to all of our 2023 participating artists. The art show would not be what it is without you. And we thank you for sharing your talents with us this year. Thank you for making a difference. A show of this caliber requires an incredible team effort from many people and we want to again extend our heartfelt appreciation to our generous sponsors, artists, staff, and volunteers for making this unforgettable event possible.